Yeah. Damn. Back, back. back. <laughs> what's our turnaround? What's your, what's your spinning? Well, I thought you said, what's our turnaround time? I was like, they'll see this video tomorrow. I mean, hey. No, babe, my chair is turning around. <laughs> I know you're not looking like that. Looking like what? You still got the hiccups? What hiccups? <laughs> Good. It's done. Hey, anyway, man, so we got another <laughs> Thomas Soul. Thomas Soul reverses the position on Donald Trump. So I don't know what Thomas Soul's position was on Donald Trump, so he's reversing. So I'm assuming he's reversing to say how he is more understanding of Donald Trump, whereas he might not have been. I don't know, because I don't know what his position was on it. But we about to hear it. Lego. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Ooh, Lord, y'all, I'll be so glad when my mouth is ready. I will. Mandatory subject, Donald Trump. During the presidential campaign, you wrote a column, this is when you still had your column, that appeared under, under the headline, Choose Trump, He'd Be Easier to Impeach. <laughs> and you wrote that voters faced a choice between, I'm quoting you, two out-of-control people, one of whom is going to be president. And you said since Hillary Clinton would be the first woman chief executive, she'd be very difficult to impeach, but Trump would be easier to kick out, so vote for Trump. Uh, now that he's been in office for a year, what do you make of him? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, uh, let me say that, that just recently Walter Williams sent me a, a, a video of Donald Trump in his mid-30s being interviewed. Uh, and so I've had to uh, back off on one of the things I've said, which is that uh, Trump is someone who has simply never grown up. He was very grown up in his mid-30s. <laughs> Speaking of retrogression. And, uh, and it's scary because how many people are more mature in their mid-30s than they are at age 70? Hmm. All right. And, and given the trend line, how optimistic should we be about his uh, becoming more grown up as time goes on? All right. All right. But in terms of, of the people he's uh, surrounded himself with, I think, on the whole, they're a better bunch than either of the last two presidents had. So he has very good people. I think of uh, Jim Mattis at the uh, defense. Yeah, you know, uh, but 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 other people are around him, and the question is: Is he going to listen to them? All right. Let me play you a brief excerpt of Donald Trump himself. This is from the State of the Union address this past January. This will be my first time to hear it. It's something I'm very proud of. African-American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. He, he, he produces a statistic. Maybe the statistic isn't quite right. Either. Maybe no, it is. It is. It is. Yes. And there you see a shot. You see Republicans standing and applauding. And there you see a shot of Democrats who are sitting on their hands, including many members of the Black Caucus yes. in Congress. What do you make of that? That, as with so many other groups around the world, the leaders of groups that are lagging are often themselves the, one of the biggest handicaps of those groups. Right. Because they have to depict the problems uh, in ways that will allow them to play the role of rescuers. And so there'll be no talk about how you can do this or that for yourself. There'll be talk about what we can get the government to deliver for you. Mm -hmm. And usually that, that, that's a lot of words and, and things that have bad effects. And that's true not only with blacks in the United States. It's true of uh, people in uh, lower income people in England and, and else. Wow. 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 That was, he was like, so what you got to say about that? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just know that the natural position, even though they were talking about African-Americans, the natural position of African-Americans that are Democratic were not going to stand up just because they didn't go for them. So even if it benefited black people, True, they weren't going to make them. They weren't going to move because they're biased. Yeah. You know, they, I, and I'm not saying they're as in my, you know, black people, I'm saying those black, that, that caucus were biased. So he could have, but if Biden probably would have stood up and said that, 
it would have been all, you know. Yeah. Ways. So. I can see that. <clears throat> so yeah, that's I can what see it, that. that was more of a bias stare. Just because the person who delivered that mm-hmm. information. Right. So. Yeah, that was short and sweet. It was. Yeah, I like listening to Thomas. So you yeah. know, yeah. So yeah. let's go. All right, man. On to the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nose dive. We'll comment section below. We'll do some more. Yep. We'll see you on the next, man. Yeah. Bye.